I want to give a special shout out to all my patrons first. Thank you so much to my Biblio Spren, Biblio Howlers, and my Biblio Mansers. It means a lot to me that you give me your extra support for my passion and hobby. Hi everyone, uh, Patek here. So you have seen uh, my list of the best books that I read in the year 2023. But in today's video, I'll be talking about uh, the top 20 most beautiful books that I own. Or in other words, the most beautiful special or limited editions that I own and treasure. If you have been following my SFF Spotlight videos, then you will know that that this year in particular there is a huge surge of special editions and also limited edition especially through Kickstarter campaigns, uh, Subterranean Press, Grim Oak Press which only will get worse uh, next year in terms of quantity and then there is also the Broken Binding and Raid Mark Creative. With that in mind before we enter the new year this list will change a lot by uh, the end of next year I have no doubt many Kickstarter campaigns product will arrive and then many more beautiful special editions will be produced and hopefully arrive at my place. And before that, I want to do a wrap up on the most beautiful books that I own as of 2023 and I will mention uh, 20 of them. Before I begin talking about my list, I'm glad to mention that today's video is sponsored by Raidmark Creative. As some of you might know already from my SFF Spotlight videos, I'm a fan of what Raidmark Creative is doing in the indie fantasy landscape, especially when it comes to producing a beautiful special editions for indie books and now traditionally published fantasy books as well. And today's video is sponsored by Raidmark. So I have mentioned about this in my SFF Spotlight videos, but there is only about 48 hours left before the end of the Kickstarter campaign for Iron Prince and also the sequel, Fire and Song. This is for the paperback or the hardcover edition, sign edition. And as usual, even though this is not a deluxe edition, this will come with an acid-free paper, Smithsoon binding, and incredibly high production value for a standard hardcover. It will come with the original cover art by Man Sik Young, new design by Sean T. King, and also gorgeous and papers by X Charney. So if you have been interested in getting yourself a copy of Iron Prince and also Fire and Song, some of the most highly praised and best-selling progression fantasy right now, or progression science fantasy, then do not miss this one. I will leave the link to the Kickstarter campaign in the description down below. Make sure to check it out. And again, thank you so much to Raidmark Creative for sponsoring today's video. And as some of you probably can tell, there will be some Ritmark Creatives products in my list of top 20 most beautiful books. So let's begin. When we're talking about special editions, I think many people's criteria for what matters most will be different. Some might prefer spray edges. I personally don't really care about having spray edges. But for me, there are five criteria that I always pay attention to. The first one is acid-free paper. Acid-free paper means that the book, the paper being used for the book can last longer, lesser chance of yellowing, and that is super important to me. I think special editions or limited editions at the very least must have this one. And then I also care about the thickness of the paper. I think the thickness of the paper, the better it is. Of course, not to take but if a special edition with interior artworks and all that do comes with a very thin paper it somehow makes the product even though it is a special edition it somehow makes the product look uh, cheaper or feel cheaper than it should be. And then Smithsoon binding. This is another incredibly important thing to know. Most mass market hardcovers, trade paperback or mass market paperback, all of them do comes with glue binding. But many special editions or limited editions implement a Smithsoon binding. And this one, just like acid free paper, guaranteed the book to last even longer when it comes to matter of binding and making sure that the spine holds up. And finally, the last criteria for me, this is probably one of the most important one, probably the most important one really. And I'm talking about interior illustrations. I love artwork. I think if you have been following my channel, you know how much I love uh, artist work and also illustrations. Having new artwork, new end paper, or new interior illustrations will always influence my decision in getting or thinking whether the special edition is valuable or not because hiring artists to do interior artworks are not cheap. So yeah, those are my criteria when it comes to talking about special editions. And now I will really begin my list now. The first 10 I'm going to mention, let's just say that they are all in the honorable mention or in the number 11 spot because I cannot rank them. I love them equally. And then after that, the top 10 spot. 
I will rank my top 10 in order, but overall, these are my top 20 most beautiful books that I own right now. And because I was talking about Ratemark per Dark earlier, I'm going to start by talking about this edition. This is the deluxe hardcover edition of A Mark of Kings by Bryce O'Connor and also Luke Schmilenko. I think uh, this cover art and design by Sean T. King looks absolutely stunning. Uh, this one features a black and gold cover design. This is the spine, this is the back cover. It comes with the golden spray edges, ribbon bookmark, and also acid-free paper. The price of this one originally was $65, and I think right now the price is about $100. As far as I know, the price of paper has increased, and yeah, this is uh, the end paper by Daniel Kamarudin. And the book actually features the original cover art by Billy Christian. And then there are like, I think, 12 interior artworks by uh, Joshua Raphael, which is an Indonesian artist. And I'm really glad that he is featured in this production. I think this is uh, Red Mark's first take at creating a beautiful special edition. And right now, they're much better at it. Even though this one is already incredibly stunning and at the back, we have an art gallery, fully colored art gallery of all the interior artworks inside A Mark of Kings. All of them done by Joshua Raphael. And yeah, at the back, we have this beautiful map of the world. And that's not the only red mark product that I want to feature. Of course, I have to talk about this stunning edition of The Sword of Kai Gen by M.L. Wong. And yeah, uh, the cover art is done by Felix Ortiz. This is the spine. And this is the back cover with the quote, wholeness she had learned was not the absence of pain, but the ability to hold it. And here uh, we have a ribbon bookmark, acid-free paper, and also gilded edges, silver gilded edges that kind of function as a mirror. And yeah, inside we have an end paper by uh, Felix Ortiz as well. And then there is this beautiful design of the naked hot covers by uh, Sean T. King. Ta-da! Not gonna lie, I actually love uh, this one even more than a Mark of Kings Deluxe Edition. I think the only downside to this is that the quality of the dust jacket is not too high production. And also, I think the book should have featured uh, more interior artworks because this one is priced at $65 and it comes with two uh, interior artworks by Felix Ortiz and I think uh, it deserves more. But who knows, maybe one day Redmark will be making a deluxe edition of The Sword of Kai Gen by M.L. Wang. Hold on, I'm going to show one of the interior artworks here. Ta-da! And yeah, at the back of the book, we have this beautiful map by Sharis Luke. The next honorable mention I'm going to mention is the first Broken Binding Press title. And this is Of Blood and Fire by Ryan Cahill. It comes with a new cover art by Nemo Art. This is the spine, and this is the back cover. It features a wraparound cover art, and I love this one. Of course, this comes with the golden gilded edges, uh, acid-free paper, and also Smithsoon binding. And inside, we have this map by Soraya Korkoran, and then there is a new design given to the naked hardcover. And yeah, I love this edition, but I think uh, it's, if there's any criticism regarding this edition, for me, is that the paper is really thin, the paper being used here. But I understand that the broken binding is going to increase the thickness of the paper in their future broken binding press title. And I also love that, that the reason they're doing this is to make sure their special edition is affordable to readers. And yeah, this one features two fully colored interior artworks, one by Randy Vargas and the other by Felix Ortiz. And then there are like six black and white artwork by Felix Ortiz uh, as well. Beautiful edition, and as I said, Broken Binding Press will continue to get better and better from here. The price of this one is £55. So that's a wrap on Raid Mark and also the Broken Binding, but I still have two more indie Kickstarter campaign book that I want to spotlight. Uh, the first one is uh, the Written Illustrated Edition by Ben Gelly. So this one is beautiful. This is the debut novel by Ben Gelly, and it comes with this many beautiful artworks, beautiful uh, fully colored artworks, well, black and red, and then black and blue for the next book, and different color for the next one by Dennis Korneff. I think they are all gorgeous, and if there's any criticism for this one, it's the same as of Blood and Fire. I think the paper use is kind of thin, but other than that, this is a very gorgeous special edition, and before the barrage of Kickstarter campaign, uh, this was uh, the benchmark uh, for me. I think Ben Gelly did an excellent job with the creation of this one, with this project, 
And I really loved it. This is the back cover. Uh, this is the front cover. This is done by Rachel St. Clair. And the price is 49 US dollar. And the next honorable mention goes to Sewell from Gold to Iron and Rust by J. Q. Davis and K. Grissom. This one is absolutely worth it. This comes with this uh, ribbon bookmark. It also comes with a very premium paper. All of them are thick. And most of all, it comes with many interior artworks done by the authors themselves. And all of them are fully colored. It is crazy to think that this book is priced at below 50 US dollars. And yeah, this is an example of the kind of artwork that you can see here. This doesn't feature a Smithson binding, but I think the price is certainly worth uh, the money. Let's show one more artwork here. Ta-da! Every chapter begins with this kind of beautiful artwork. And yeah, I think uh, this book, when we're talking about production value, it definitely deserves more recognition. Well done to the authors. Truly a job well done to the authors, and I look forward to the sequel. But first, I have to read this one first. And now we move on to special edition published by traditional publishers. I know that most of the time, traditional published uh, special edition are not worth the money, but I do think some of them are actually worth the bucks. And this is an example. The Books of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin, Omnibus Edition, illustrated by Charles Vess. And this, well, as you can see here, it comes with a ribbon bookmark, but the binding is not too good. <laughs> but, I mean, the price of this one is 44 US dollars, and it contains the entire Books of the Earthsea in one omnibus, and it comes with beautiful artwork done by Charles Vess. I think in total, there is about seven, seven fully colored artwork, and then many black and white illustrations. I haven't read the Books of Earthsea yet, but I know I will be reading uh, the Books of Earthsea using this beautiful edition gifted to me by my friend, uh, Celeste. Thank you so much, Celeste, for sending me a copy of the Books of Earthsea Omnibus Edition. Moving on to the next one, these are some of the most beautiful special edition published by traditional publishers, and this is the Farsi Trilogy Illustrated Edition. And surprisingly, this edition, illustrated by Magali Villeneuve, actually comes with acid-free paper. And yeah, this is a new map being put as the end paper. And as you can see here, hold on. Yeah, this is written, printed in China on acid-free paper. And that's, I think, something uh, to emulate by many other traditional publishers. But on top of that, this one comes with so many beautiful illustrations by Magali Villeneuve. Each book in the series, each book in the illustrated edition, comes with the new interior artworks, many interior artworks by Magali Villeneuve, and I love her artwork so much. I'm going to show one or two of them here. This is one of them. And yeah, as I said, there are many of them, but it's kind of hard to find the artwork somehow. And here is another one. And then for the rest, I think you just have to read and find out for yourself. But yeah, I think this edition is beautiful. This is not printed on a... Do note that the fully colored artwork is not printed on an art paper. This is printed on a standard paper. This illustrated edition with all the artwork included for $40, and I'm sure you can get it much cheaper now. I think this is a great buy and a great special edition. Moving on to the next one. As I said, just like the Farsi trilogy, because I am a fan of having interior artworks inside my special edition, you cannot go wrong with getting this uh, 20th anniversary edition of A Song of Ice and Fire by George R. R. Martin. Each book comes with their own illustrator providing their artworks. For example, in the Game of Thrones 20th anniversary edition, Magali Villeneuve is doing uh, the interior artworks. And then in A Clash of Kings, Lauren Cannon is doing the artwork. And then in A Storm of Swords, Gary Gianni is doing the illustrations. And I think each book, each edition comes with 24 new interior artworks, all of them fully colored and also black and white. Here's an example. I'm going to show a few of them. This is black and white, but at the middle of the book, you can see here, you will get the fully colored version. And yeah, they are beautiful. This is the Gary uh, Gianni's artwork. I love Gary Gianni's artwork. I think, although some people mentioned that this one is not fitting, for Song of Ice and Fire, I actually think they're kind of fitting. It's like an in-world book now. Ta-da! The price of each illustrated edition is about 30 pounds now, but I think right now you can get it even cheaper. So yeah, I definitely recommend this one if you love A Song of Ice and Fire. They are worth your money. We still have two more honorable mention to spotlight, and of course I have to spotlight this one. The Name of the Wind, 10th Anniversary Edition by Patrick Rothfuss, published by Doe Books. I absolutely love this special edition. 
I think this is truly one of the best special edition published by traditional publisher. If only they're going all out uh, on special edition, just like they're going all out on Patrick Rothfuss books. And yeah, this opens up with the new and paper and then inside Oh yeah, this also comes with the uh, red spray edges. And inside, there are like so many new artworks by Dando Santos, one of my favorite artists. And everything that he put into this one, into this edition, they are so gorgeous. And not gonna lie, they enhance my reading experience. And then at the back, we have this end paper. And yeah, another artwork by Dando Santos. All of them are done by him. Love this edition very much. The cover art is done by Sam Weber. And I think it is such a shame that we don't have the Wise Man's Fair 10th or 12th anniversary edition. I think it would have been something truly incredible to have something like that to accompany this beautiful edition. Originally, the name of the win 10th anniversary edition was priced at $40, but I think you can now get this one for $25. US Definitely worth your money if you love the King Killer Chronicle series. And finally, the last honorable mention will have to go to Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff fully illustrated edition. So the original edition of Empire of the Vampire is already stunning. It already contained so many interior artworks by Monolime or Bon Ortwick. But this edition, they come with the artwork fully illustrated. More than 20 of them. I think more than 30 of them inside this one. And yeah, all of them are fully illustrated. It is stunning. A stunning special edition. Talking about going all out, I think Harper Voyager is certainly going all out on producing uh, Jay Kristoff's books. See, it is so beautiful. If only this edition comes with an acid-free paper and Smithson binding, and also having uh, the fully colored art printed on an art paper, I think this edition would be in my top 10 for sure. But even without that, this is already one of the most gorgeous editions that I own. And I want to say thank you so much uh, to TS for sending me a copy of this one. This is not cheap. The original price of this edition is £50, but I think it is cheaper now. So that's the end of the 10 honorable mentions. And now I will begin the top 10 most beautiful books that I own. And well, with the exception of one book, honestly, these are not cheap books. Each of them are at least priced at 100 US dollars or more. But you know what they always say, price is quality and sometimes this is really true. I think it is more worrying when the price of the book is expensive but the result doesn't match. And now we're officially entering my top 10 most beautiful books that I own. The first one, let's start from uh, Miss Bond Trilogy, the Dragon Steel edition, uh, Miss Bond the Final Empire, and then the Well of Ascension, and finally, uh, the Hero of Ages. Each volume here costs $100 per volume. And next year, the price will be increased by $25 per volume. And I got the first one and also the second one sent to me thank you to my co-bloggers. It's only because of that I went down this slippery slope and I bought a copy of the Hero of Ages. And each book here uh, have a new end paper. In the case of Hero of Ages, Mark Simone did that. Uh, the end paper and then we have an art gallery at the beginning of the book but dragon steel is a company that keeps getting better with each book with each production and i think uh, miss born compared to their newest letter bound edition i think it still pales in comparison and that is insane i know especially considering how beautiful this edition already is but there is no interior artworks inside uh, the miss born trilogy and also elantris which i don't own yet but yeah, I think this is still a beautiful edition. The downside is that this edition is very easily damaged. I've read this one only once, and as you can see here at the back, it's already damaged. And if you know me, I'm the kind of person who really take care of my books when I'm reading. But this one happened only because I stacked this book together with the other Dragon Steel Leather Bound edition. And yeah, that is not a good idea. But yeah, I think this one belongs in the number 10 spot. And as I said, Dragon Steel, uh, you will see a lot of Dragon Steel books in my top 10 uh, most beautiful books that I own. Moving on to the number 9 spot, we have another set of books by the Dragon Steel. And yes, I am talking about the Secret Project novels. This is the first Secret Project, the second Secret Project, and then I'm going to show the fourth Secret Project first. Because my favorite of them all is the third secret project novel, the one with an illustration by Alia Chen. If we're talking about value here, each book here during the Kickstarter campaign costs $40 per book. And I, I think right now, uh, the price of each book has been increased to $55. 
but really the value of these books are insane if you are someone who love interior artworks like me you cannot go wrong with the with getting the secret project novels by Brandon Sanderson uh, the dragon steel edition because each book has so many interior artworks by different artists in the case of Yumi and the nightmare painter we have artwork by Alia Chen and Alia Chen is such an amazing artist I love her artwork very much and this is just one example out of many this is just one out of many interior illustrations contained in Yumi and the nightmare painter but if we're talking about front aesthetic I think the sunnet man is the best one of them all I really love the cover art to this one and also this is the only one that comes with the black spray edges but as I said each book uh, costs about $40 each during the Kickstarter campaign and also every one of them actually comes with an acid free paper it is unfortunate that dragon still cannot include smithsoon binding but for the prices i totally understand i'm really thankful to my friend ts again uh, for making sure that i get this edition because uh, she actually paid for the international shipping fee because with, without that i don't think i would have been able to afford getting this for uh, special edition all at once and now i'm really glad that i have them they are gorgeous and at the number eight spot we have the book of the new sun folio society edition this is uh, the slip case and if there is any downside to this edition of the book of the new sun well the downside is in the slip case itself because the slip case is not well it's not too well but take a look at this i haven't read the book of the new sun yet and all I do is just put this on my shelf but yeah as you can see here this already happens even though I haven't read this book yet but if we're talking about the book itself I think this is a beautiful edition and I really need to thank my fellow booktubers because when I started uh, my booktube channel this was the gift that was gifted to me as a Christmas present and yeah uh, take a look at this beauty this is the first omnibus and the second omnibus of the book of the new sun it contains the book of the new sun quartet in two volumes all of them illustrated by sam weber and yeah it comes with top black spray edges and then acid free paper smithsoon binding and of course interior artworks by sam weber fully colored interior artworks by sam weber i think each volume contain about five of them so in total there will be a total of 20 interior illustrations across to omnibus all of them fully color art by sam weber and yes yeah, sam weber is a great artist love these artworks very much and i look forward to reading this series for the first time using this beautiful edition and the price of these two set of these two omnibus is 100 30 pounds so for a total of 170 us dollars you can get the entire book of the new sun folio society edition i think it is worth your money especially if you are a fan of the series this is a beautifully produced books and at the number seven spot i have a copy of sherlock holmes and the adventure of dozen favorites this is the slipcase uh, this is the Amarantin Books Edition that I won in a giveaway hosted by Collectible Book Vault. If you love special editions and also uh, you love you love getting new information about fine press and all that, definitely follow Collectible Book Vault on Instagram and definitely follow Amarantin Books as well. Then this is the book. The only reason this one is at the number seven spot, despite its immensely high production value, is because I haven't read the book yet. But this is a letterpress edition, and yeah, it comes. With a, with a ribbon bookmark, Smithsoon binding, very thick paper. I think it's about 130 or 140 GSM. And this contains 12 short stories by Arthur Conan Doyle regarding the adventures of Sherlock Holmes. And yeah, each short story begins with these beautiful illustrations, fully colored interior illustrations by Manuel Sumberach. And I love the artwork very much. Each title is also uniquely designed. And because this is a letterpress edition, the feel here is absolutely, well, it's surreal. I cannot explain it to you, but you can actually feel the indent of the pair of the letters here. It is beautiful. This is uh, the second time I received a letterpress edition this year or ever really. And let's just say that I am truly amazed. And yeah, this is another example of the artwork love this edition very much but the price is kind of steep it is priced at 200 euro or 220 us dollars but i think if we're talking about value this is definitely worth the production value and now at the number six spot we have another set from dragon steel and this is the first two books in miss born wax and wayne or miss born era 2 the alloy of law 
and also shadows of self i got this set for 150 dollars but i got this set thanks to my friend andrew torres who is a great collector of books thank you so much to andrew for giving me this beautiful set and i think this is one of Dragon's Tale's most beautiful editions so far. It has a new end paper in the case of Shadows of Self. This one is done by Miranda Mix. And yeah, of course, this comes with uh, Smithson binding and also acid-free paper. All Dragon's Tale Leatherbound edition arrive with acid-free paper and also Smithson binding. And yeah, they are gorgeous. But in the case of this one, it also have plenty of fully colored interior illustrations on top of art gallery. Let's see one or two of them, but I have done a full showcase video of this edition. Tada! This is one of them. Take a look at how beautiful this is. I'm already excited to see what they will do for the bands of morning, but first, we will have to wait and see what they do for Words of Radiance uh, next year. But yeah, I got a numbered edition of this one, and yeah, I do think that this one belongs in the number 6 spot, especially considering that this set is priced at $150 for both. And Alley of Law have different interior illustrations and, and paper compared to the Shadows of Self. And now we have arrived at the top 5 ranking of the most beautiful books that I own, and number 5 is Warbreaker, again, Dragon's Tale Leatherbound Edition. This is one of the most expensive books that I bought by myself, but I cannot resist this one. I think Dragon's Tale team was really on point with, when it comes to the matter of designing the edition of Warbreaker Leatherbound Edition. It's so gorgeous, and at the inside, we are immediately greeted with this vivid artwork by Dando Santos, which connect to the back and paper. See, they are so beautiful. And inside, every new chapter begins with this gorgeous drop cap by John Go. And then that's not all. On top of Smithson binding and acid-free paper, there are a lot, a lot of fully colored interior artworks. And yeah, the price was $100. It is unfortunate that the price of this one will be increased to $125, but I think even at $125, I think this is still worth the value. This is another artwork. This one is done by Howard Lyon, and I'm going to show another one, and then let's move on to the number four spot. This is by Magali Villeneuve. I absolutely love this special edition, and I think some of you can guess what is my number one most precious Dragon Steel Leather Bound edition, but let's talk about that later. In the number four spot, this is the most expensive book that I ever bought. This is the Grim Oppress edition of the Dragon Bone Chair. This is the slipcase, and yeah, this is the spine of the Dragon Bone Chair. Cream of Press Edition, Dragon Ball Chair by Ted Williams. As I said in my videos uh, talking about this acquisition, I made an impulsive decision to buy this book because of the beautiful cover art by Donato Giancola. Donato Giancola is just one of my favorite artists, and uh, this is the map by Isaac Stewart, and inside we have six interior illustrations by Donato Giancola as well. All of them fully colored, and this is a uh, triple side by Ted Williams, Donato Giancola, and Isaac Stewart. I absolutely love this book and this beautiful edition. I think every artwork complements the narrative really well. And I'm going to show just one of them here. Ta-da! This is the first interior illustration. This one is the art of the dragon bone chair itself. And this is Simon looking at the empty dragon bone chair. So beautiful and I love this book very much. This is one of my favorite books of the year. And I already look forward to getting myself a copy of Stone of Farewell next year, if I can afford it. <laughs> because the price of this one is 175 US dollars. That's not even to count the insanely huge uh, shipping fee yet. But if we are going to exclude the shipping fee, I think this is truly one of the most stunning special edition out there. We are entering the top three spot of the most beautiful books that I own. And well, I'm going to start with The Way of Kings Leatherbound Edition. And this is gifted to me by one of my patrons and also my friend, Jen Ducky. Thank you so much to Jen for giving me a copy of The Way of Kings. This was unexpected and it truly became one of the most precious books that I own now. And yeah, The Way of Kings Dragon Seal Edition is divided into two volumes to make sure the books are easy to read. And yeah, they are just, I think, the most beautiful edition that Dragon Seal has ever produced up to date. And then this is the end paper. It opened again with an art gallery. And then inside, there are so many interior artworks. But the standard edition, oh, of course, this back end paper is done by Howard Lyon of Kaladin Stoneblast. And also, as I said, 
uh, the standard edition of the Way of Kings or the Stormlight Archive is I think they kind of work already as a special edition because they contain so many interior illustrations but in the case of this one they are even more beautiful because they are fully colored or black and white in two-toned uh, in the case of the Way of Kings we have blue and black and white hold on I'm going to show an example Tada! Jian Guo also provided a new chapter header for every chapter uh, in the Way of Kings Dragon's Tale edition. I absolutely love this edition very much. And again, I want to say thank you so much to Jendaki for gifting me a copy of this. Without it, I don't think I would have been able to get a copy of this one. Actually, in fact, the top three uh, most beautiful books that I own, all of them are gifted to me and I cannot thank them enough, seriously. <laughs> the price of the Way of Kings Dragon Sail Leather Bound Edition is 200 US dollars. But as I said, next year, each volume will be increased by $25. So the Way of Kings Leather Bound Edition will be priced at $250, just like Words of Radiance. And at the runner-up spot, we have a Game of Thrones Folio Society Edition. Take a look at this. This is already absolutely gorgeous. This one, just like all the artwork and every cover art and interior artwork inside everything is done by jonathan burton and if you buy a game of thrones folio society edition you also get this beautiful map of the known world i'm not going to spend too much time here uh, talking about each detail of the folio society edition of a game of thrones but if you want to know more about them i have done a video about it and you can take a look at that and think about it whether uh, the price $200 is worth it or not for this edition. Now, this one, again, just like The Way of Kings, is divided into two volumes. A Game of Thrones by George R. Martin is a masterpiece in epic fantasy. And yeah, every artwork inside, as I said, is done by Jonathan Burton. This is the first one. And The Game of Thrones has an introduction by Joe Abercrombie. Again, one of my top favorite authors of all time. And I think in total, we have about 16 interior artwork, all of them fully colored by Jonathan Burton. And then take a look at each chapter. Every character has this new unique chapter header art done by the same artist. And I think they are just so beautiful. I look forward to doing a second read of A Game of Thrones using this beautiful edition by Folio Society. And yeah, uh, this is not limited edition. You can actually uh, get this edition whenever you feel like it, assuming that this is one of your favorite series of all time and you have the means to get it. I think you cannot go wrong with getting this one. This is truly one of the best special edition and it remains firm in my number two spot. Hopefully I can complete the collection one day. Thank you so much to Adi Raven uh, for sending me this copy of a Game of Thrones Folio Society edition. You know how much this means to me. And finally, we have arrived at the number one spot. This is the most beautiful book that I own and I think some of you can predict this. This is the Blade Itself Curious King edition. This is the slipcase. The price is $250. But let me tell you, this one is absolutely a stunner. A masterpiece in book production, in my opinion. Its cover art is done by Tommy Arnold. This is Logan Nine Fingers, and it features a wraparound cover art all the way to the back, and this is Ferro Margin. And as I said in my video talking about the details of the blade itself, this book has a new end paper of Adua by Tommy Arnold. Everything here is illustrated by Tommy Arnold. This is the naked hot cover, and also it has a new frontispiece. Take a look at this one. A new frontispiece and six interior illustrations absolutely gorgeous interior illustrations, all of them by Tommy Arnold. I think when it comes to book production, this is truly the best one that I own. And it is a huge bonus because this is the Blade itself, a beginning to my favorite Grim Dark Fantasy series of all time. And I'm already excited to see what Curious King will do for Before They Are Hang. And I was blessed enough to receive this book for free from the Curious King and seriously I am truly grateful and yeah this is a letterpress edition I wish all of you can feel this one but seriously the feel here is different compared to a lot of special edition even though the price is $250 for the standard edition I think I cannot really fault the price here because it is deserving of that price so yeah at the moment this one definitely belongs in the number one spot for the best special edition for the best and most beautiful book that I own at the moment and yeah this is uh, the top one it has a ribbon bookmark and of course acid free paper smithsun binding and 140 gsm paper cannot get enough of this beautiful edition really absolutely beautiful 
and I look forward to doing my next reread of the blade itself using the Curious King edition of the blade itself. Truly well done to the Curious King for their absolutely gorgeous first publication. And once again, and I know I keep on repeating this, but I need to say thank you so much to Anthony from the Curious King for making one of my dreams to own a premium edition of the blade itself and the first law by Joe Abercrombie come true. Thank you so much. And that's the end. That's my top 20 most beautiful books that I own as of 2023. And as I said, by the end of next year, this list will change a lot. Curious King, Grim Oak Press, Subterranean Press, and also Great Mark Creative Broken Binding, and then many Kickstarter campaign product will start arriving and being produced next year as well. So yeah, this list will change a lot, but as of 2023, these are the most beautiful books that I own. Do let me know what you, uh, what you think about the special editions that I showcase today. Do you own any of them and which one is your favorite limited or special editions? I have a plan to post one more videos before the end of the year and that is the Patrick's Choice Awards 2023. But until then, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. Bye-bye. Lastly, I want to say thank you so much once again to all my patrons who keep on supporting me.